Let's read uh, let's have you read this one. One star two years ago. Definitely the worst Starbox I've ever visited. Extremely so service and rude staff who would rather hawk you than make your drink again. Despite being on Main Street USA, this store is a bizarre real world where Disney level service disappears. Oh, here's another one. A year ago. One star Really, Disney? One Starbucks in the whole park? Half hour to get a cup of coffee? That is ridiculous. Get it together with the demand of Starbucks. Need a fat pass to get coffee? Three stars six months ago. This busy shop featuring a licensed Starbucks store has fairly quick service. There are a variety of stack options. It is loud in here, so be ready for a name like Seth to become Saffron on the cups. What? I don't understand. Well, if you went in there, Miriam, and you, you asked for your, you know, coffee, it would be labeled Mary or, um, rum. Yes, I like rum. Oh, okay. Maybe we can get you some rum. I hate rum. I heard that. You were meant to. Thank you for calling Disney Dining. We're glad you called. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training. Thank you for calling Disney uh, Dining. My name is Roy Fallo. How may I assist you with your Disney Dining reservations? No, no, not reservations. I went to the bakery and I got a coffee. It took 30 minutes to get my coffee. I believe they might have, they might have put rum in it because they may have... They wrote my name as Rum on the coffee cup. But my name is Miriam. I don't know what's going on. Okay, how can I, how can I help you? Yes. Uh, I want to find out if they put rum in the coffee. No, they usually don't put rum in the coffee. Oh dear. Uh, I'm quite a bit tipsy now. But all I had was the coffee. Now, where are you located right now? Oh, I'm in the bathroom. In uh, your in your resort or? The Magic Kingdom, the toilets. Right. Let's see. Now, I'm trying to trying to I'm trying to figure out where you are right now. I know you're in the bathroom, but uh, you're in a you're in a bathroom. In a, in a Disney resort, in a hotel, at a park? In the Magic Kingdom, yes. You're in the Magic it's Kingdom. It's magical, yes. Okay, so you're in the Magic Kingdom. Do you, what, do you know where in Magic Kingdom? Is it um, Adventureland, Fantasyland? The Main Street, Possibly. The Main Street. Main Street? It's towards the front there. Towards yes. the front. Okay. Uh, let me see. Do you need any assistance? Oh, no, no. I've just, no, no. I've just gone in here to to, to, to make the feces, you see. The coffee okay. ran through me, but it, it, oh, I feel a bit tipsy. I, I, it, perhaps it was a stop, so... I, I Are you sure? This. You sure you don't want somebody to go and assist you? Oh, no, no. I'm quite all right. Okay. Yes. No, but they don't put they don't put rum in the in the coffee. Mm -mm. It might have been a different blend of coffee, maybe than you're used to, and that could have that could have caused a reaction. Yes, I believe that's what it was. Yes, yes. If my grandson, if, he's he's outside. He's waiting for me. Okay. I, I have to. I have. I have to think. Uh, mm -hmm. Make a bowel movement. Yes. I'm, I, I, under, I understand that completely. 
Um, what I would what I would ask of you when you have when you have the opportunity before you leave the park, go ahead and stop by guest services, which is at the front, and let them know what happened. All right. All right. Yes. All right. I, I said my name. I said Miriam, and they said wrong. I said no, Miriam. I, I, when I got the coffee, it tasted a bit off. Like it had alcohol in it. Yeah, I've never heard of wrong. never heard of of them putting rum in coffee. Yes, I, I don't know. I, I, I feel all right now. I, Are you sure? I, I've sat on the toilet here talking to you. I've I've passed a, a large amount, a large amount of feces, and I feel quite better now. Yes. Good. Yes. Oh. Take it easy right. now. Yes. All right. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Thank you for calling Disney Dining, and you have a magical day. Yes, you too, dear. Goodbye. Bye-bye now. We back. Okay, Miriam. Um, let's see. We got uh, some more reviews to read here. Uh, this is for the Animal Kingdom. All right, yes. A month ago, one star... The lines were over an hour, average, wait in the heat. The express card slash hot pass of $60 were booked up to months in advance for the wait time in the express lines and many rides. Everything was expensive. The logistical system between the parks and the parking was awesome. The staff were all friendly and helpful. Of course, the themes were incredible to see. Go see the Lion King and Star Wars. That's all hairy fella. Chewy from Star Wars was great. Overall, a lot of hype. One star, but he liked it. I had a lot of stuff every view. One star, three weeks ago. I'm very disappointed in the fact that Disney does not put enough recycling cans in the parks. They should have a recycling spot next to every trash can, or at least have signs saying not to put plastic bottles in the trash. Since it is, uh, cl click the more button, dear. Uh, yes, uh, they should have more signs that put the plastic bottles in the trash. Since it is recycling, and Disney should be leaders in preventing plastic bottles winding up in the trash. Come on, Disney. Children and future generations are looking to you to show them a good example. You guys have so much power to change the world, so do it. A world fish, dolphin, and grey dolphin. Oh, what what are those been? Ah, uh, the same more in here that. One star a month ago. It was hot and has no ventilators during the wait times before playing attractions. I have a better experience in the Universal Parks that has refills for soda and a lot of ventilators. They respect the visitants. I don't think they speak English. One star a month ago. I click the more button first, dear. Oh, this is a long one. All right. Why would people think this is fun? Arrived when park opened. Made a decision to come here over Bush Gardens. Big mistake. All fast pass options were gone by 10.30 a.m. Only kitty rides were still available. Ate some BBQ and bought 30 worth of bottled water and waited for Avatar flight ride. Wait line says 150 minutes. We commit to it. Three-fourths of the way through... Announcement comes over that a ride is having, quote, capacity issues, unquote. Wait times may be longer. We wait almost four hours and don't abort. We ask to use the bathroom. They give us a lanyard and tell us to come back through the fast pass lane. They don't explain that you... They don't explain that you're supposed to cut by yourself in front of all the other customers. 
We'll leave and go to customer relations. Relay. Customer relations. Yes. Only one person physically working at a time. I nicely explain predicament. And she says there are refunds. No sorry, nothing. We can have a pass to return on another day. No thanks. What a waste of the day to waste of five hundred dollars. Save your time and money and patience and go to another park outside Disney. The CS rep said it was, quote, my choice, unquote, to stay in line after a three-plus-hour commitment. I mentioned Fast Pass not being available, and she made me appear dumb by saying, oh, you didn't book it in advance. I didn't know I could. This is your version of customer relations. I am more upset now than before I came in here. This is a Disney experience. Great job, Walt. And it has a bunch of thumbs downs. What? Oh, Walt's been dead for 50 years. It, this isn't his fault. I need, to, I need to talk to Walt Disney. Yes. Thank you for calling Disney Guest Services. My name is Agatha. How may I assist you? Yes, hello. I wish to speak to Walt Disney. He, he called me last night and asked me to call today. Um, I apologize. Can you repeat that again for me? Yes. I wish to speak to Walt. He, he left me this number to call today. Yeah, and are you, I, I'm sorry, are you trying to make a reservation? No, no, I'm returning a boy's call. He said his name was Walt. Okay, are you looking for an employee or a guest? I suppose an employee, yes. Okay, what is the employee's name? Walt Disney. Okay, you've reached Walt Disney um, Guest Services, and how may I help you, ma'am? Yes, I would like to speak to Walt. I'm sorry, but Walt is no longer alive. What? Oh, I saw last night. He took me to a dance and we had quite a fun time, yes. He left me this number to call back. I'm sorry, ma'am. Oh, dear. Do you happen to have his number? No, ma'am. Oh, dear. Oh, I suppose it was just a one-night stand then. All right. That's, that's unfortunate. Okay, but sorry. You have a wonderful day. All right. Thank you, dear. Oh, what? Thank you so good for me. Okay, Miriam. Let's continue. So we gotta find, uh, we gotta find, uh, Mickey. Yes. He owes me 40 quid. All right. So we got a couple problems here. Um, the place they used to hide Mickey at doesn't exist. Uh, figure out... Where they're hiding Mickey? I have a separate number. Let's try calling up Cotton and find out where Mickey. Welcome to the Walt Disney World Resort. We're glad you called. Your call may be monitored or recorded for quality and training purposes. Thank you for calling Walt Disney World Resort. For celebrations our specialty. My name is Oliver. How may I assist you? Yes, I'm trying to find where Mickey is. Uh, you trying to find where Mickey? Um, at. Yes. Uh, it will have to be at Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. He owes me 40 quid. Um, <clears throat> would you like for me to transfer to that department? Yes, yes. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Allow me one moment. Ma'am, can you... Oh, oh, um, can you... Um, how may I assist you? Yes, I'm looking for Mickey. I said to call this number when I got to the park and he'd he'd get me my forty quid he owes me. Okay, um okay, then I will have to check to the ticket department where they will further assist you look at it make okay, one moment. <clears throat> Alright, thank you. You're welcome, man. One sec. Thank you for calling Walt Disney World Ticketing. My name is Mara Beth. How may I help you today? Yes, hello. I was looking for Mickey. And he told me to call in and he gives me my 40 quid, he owes me. Okay, um, how can I help you? 
Can you tell me where to find him? I'm sorry? Can you tell me where to find Mickey? I'm so sorry. Um, I can't understand you. Oh, dear. Mickey, do you know where Mickey is? Mickey? Yes. Uh, yeah, Mickey's at uh, Magic Kingdom. Yes, that's where I thought he was, but when I went there, I couldn't find him. Okay, let me see. So when you go, um, are you going to Magic Kingdom, or were you looking to go to a different park? Yeah, it's just, it's just Magic Kingdom, yes. Okay, so let me... I went looking for him. I found, I found Pluto, his dog, and he, he took me around back and rotted me. I wasn't expecting that. Um, so when you enter Magic Kingdom, um, you you can actually meet Mickey Mouse if you go to the right. Um, it's the first building on the right. You can meet Mickey and Minnie. Oh, so that's why I made the first mistake. I went to the left. Oh, no. All I could find there was, was stalls and some sort of a, a ride with a, with a mine carts or something. I don't know. It's very confusing. Yeah, it's a little confusing. Um, are you at Magic Kingdom right now? Yes, yes. Okay, yeah. So if you walk to the like by the front of the park, um, if you before you exit, it'll be to your left hand side is where you can um, meet Mickey. All right. And where are the nearest toilets? Um, so that's going to be right near um, where Mickey Mouse is as well. It's going to be in that building. Oh dear. Is there any toilets closer? Um, well, I'm not sure where you are right now. Uh, Tom Sawyer. Oh, yes. Yeah, there, there's going to be, yeah, there's going to be bathrooms that are um, closer to you. Um, if you're, um, are you, do you see Aladdin's magic carpet ride? No, no, I don't see that. Um, are you outside or are you inside? I'm outside, dear, but I have a feeling of I'm going to have to go where I'm at. So, yeah, if you yeah. see, if you do you see any cast members that work there, they'll be able to direct you to the closest bathroom. I have a, I've got a moisture problem in my trousers now. Is there somewhere I can go to, to clean myself up a bit? Oh, dear. Okay, so if you if you can um, if you can find a nearest cast member, they'd be able to help you. So someone with a white name tag. Oh, oh yes, all right. I, I see one right right over here. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. You're welcome. Thanks for calling Disney. Have a great day. Yes, nipples. All right. Yes. I wanted to gauge her re- her reaction. Well, then I she understood me. She, she, she said, all right, and hung up. I don't know if that was a positive or negative reaction. And you said Pluto, uh, keep behind back? Yes. He's a silly little doggy. What good is? Hello, dear. I need to enroll myself at the school. What's it, what's it? Oh, English, dear. Do you speak it? I go. もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。もしもし。
Are you aware that we are a Japanese high school? Yes, yes, I'm very aware, yes. You're not talking about our university? No, no, You're no. You're talking about our high school? No, I... Um, I never completed my studies. I want to complete them. Um, are you a junior high school student? Yes, yes. I left school when I was 13. I'd, I'd like to finish my studies before I die. I'm 84 years young. Um, you see, uh, we only ex- um, are you a U.S. citizen? Uh, do you have a Japanese nationality as well? Yes, my mother was Japanese. I was born in Japan. You're, you were born in Japan. Oh, so you have a Japanese, um, Japanese nationality? Yes. Are you currently living in America? Yes, but I'm, I'm traveling. I plan to spend quite a long time in Japan. I see. Um, it, it's very difficult to um, hear you properly. Um, just in case I might miss something, is it possible for you to write an email to us? Yeah, yes. Requesting I, your request? Yes, I could do that. Is that possible? Yes. Could you do that? Yes. Okay. Um, our email address... Yes. Is do you have something to write down with? Yes, I do. do. Yes. Okay. Um, I C U H S or small letters. Yes. Okay. At mark. All right. Yes. Dot. All right. J P. All right. Thank you, dear. Okay. Um, could you write us an email requesting um your status and. Um, and what do you... Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you just fine, dear. Yes, yes, yes. Could, could, could you, yes, could you write us an email? Yes. So that we can respond back? Yes, okay. I'll do that. Okay. All right. Thank you, dear. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, may I have your name just in case? Yes, it's so Miriam. I'm waiting for your email. It's Miriam, dear. Miriam. Yes. Okay, Miriam. Miriam what? Are your surname? Jones. Scholes. Okay. So Miriam will be waiting for your email. All right, thank you, dear. Okay. Goodbye. Bye bye. Okay. I seem to be getting a call from Bertrand's number. Let me see if I can get him on here. Hello, Bertrand? Yes, hello. Is Miriam there? Yeah, yeah, she's right here. Yes, hello, Bertrand. What, what do you want? Miriam, where's the remote? I was trying to watch the telly this morning and there's nothing. Nothing I can do without the remote. Bertrand, we don't have a telly. What do you mean? I bought one in 1981. Yes, a color telly. Where is it, girl? Bertrand, we threw it away, it broke. Yes, yes. That's all right, dear. I'm ready to be tossed in the bin. Come home right this instant, girl. I'm gonna roger you. What? I'm not the telly, dear. Just go down to the poor room. Surely I have a telly. Yes, yes, I can. I can do that, yes, yes. Uh, all right, then. Uh, I'll be going now. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye, dear. You don't have a TV, huh, Miriam? No. I had an accident on it. And uh, I just told Bertrand that it had broke, but the real reason is well, I, I tripped and I fell and, and my head got, got, went right through it. And I, I, I was bleeding for days and he didn't notice. I don't know how, how he didn't notice. I hold the glass on the floor. I, I, I don't know. What? What were you talking about? Yeah, exactly. Do you see the square last side? He's getting his nut. I have a feeling that's um, it's a double. Double entendre right there. Uh, let me take a look at the squirrel here. Peek through the blinds here and... 
Yep, yep, yep. Those are those are two squirrels humping. All right. Thank you, Miriam. Yes. Oh, oh, I really enjoy watching the animals do that sort of thing, you know. Hey, look, I'm going to take my pants down. You see what? You see what I'm talking about? Ah, oh, dear God. Put that away. I don't want to see that. Yes, yes. This is where, this is where Pertrand pushed it in. Oh, God. Miriam, cover up. I've been told I'm not allowed back at SeaWorld. Let's, let's find out why I'm not allowed back at SeaWorld. Yes, this, this is a glorious reason. Thank you for calling SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. For- Hey, good day. Thank you for calling SeaWorld and Bush Garden. My name is Kyla. How may I assist you for today? Yes, hello there, dear. I'm calling to set up the Hannibal Interaction uh, visit. Hello? Oh, you hearing me? Hello, you hearing me? Yes. Yes, I hear you now, dear. Oh, all right. So, uh, how may I assist you for today? Yes. I would like to set up an animal interaction. Oh, you'd like to set up an animal interaction. All right. And uh, which one of the parks is this that you would like to set it up for? SeaWorld Orlando? Yes, that's the one. All right. And which one of the animal interactions at SeaWorld Orlando you are actually looking to speak to? Yes. I want to see the animal with the largest penis. Yes. Hmm. I don't know which one that is. Oh, it came along with your pass. That's what you said? No, no. I want to see the animal with the largest penis. I'm, I'm thinking this is a whale. Oh, yes. the killer whale. Yes, that's the one. All right, all right. Give me a second. Let me just see here. Be right. able to book uh, the yes. killer whale experience for you. All right, so we do have a killer whale up close tour. Uh, how many persons would actually be going on that killer whale up close tour? Oh, just me. Just, just one. Oh, one person. All right. Please, that you want to book this uh, killer yes. whale interaction. See what it actually be. I'm sorry. I All right, hear I never that. heard you uh, clearly. You, uh, would it be for this month that you're booking that animal interaction for? Oh, no, no. It'll be oh. uh, March of next year. March of next year. Oh, wow. Oh, you're close then, huh? All right, I so actually... Actually, for next year, we have no dates available for next year as yet. We would act, you, you, you would actually have to wait up until January before you would be able to book it for March next year, all right? Uh, hold on now. Wait, wait. Uh, wait, no. I first it up was... It's for September 3rd. I don't see a calendar set up. Want me to send a link to your phone to set up your calendar? No. All right. All right. So for next year, uh, actually, you would actually have to wait up until like January or those time to book it for next year. Uh, no, no, no. I had the date wrong, dear. September the twenty oh, third. September twenty third. Is that available? Oh. Oh, all right. So yes. for September 23rd, all right. So give me a second. One of that info. Okay, on September 23rd. And we do have that interaction at 2 p.m. All right, so for that interaction, the total with the tax included, it would come up to $122.48. All right? Would you like me to go ahead and continue? All right. Would you like me to go ahead and continue? All right. Now, mm-hmm. uh, can I ask you? No problem. One thing I have, I have questions. 
the interaction this I can I rob on rob on the killer where has all right so with that question penis. I never heard it quite clearly could you repeat that back for me again please oh yes can I touch the killer whales can you wear penis? Can I touch the killer oh, whales? Oh, you're asking if you would be able to touch the killer whales? All right, let me see. Yes. Hmm. All right, just give me a second. I'm actually going to do a check here to see if you are able to touch those killer whales, all right? All right. Let all me right, see. yes. So for the killer wheels up close tour. Hmm. Alright. Alright, so with that killer wheel up close tour, it is actually forty five minutes uh in length of the tour. Uh let me see here. Alright, so I'm not seeing where you would be able to touch those killer wheels. I'm sorry about that, but I'm not seeing that information where it, where they allow you to touch the killer wheels, alright? Alright. Uh, yes. Look, can I feed myself uh, to the could wheels? You, could you say that if you would be able to see the killer wheels? Yes, you would be able to see those killer wheels. But we actually do not allow you for them to, for we, don't, we do not allow oh, for good. you to touch them. I'm sorry about that. But you will be able to go on that killer wheel, uh, on that killer wheel interactive right, program. Uh, would you like me to book the, one of that for you, one of those for you? I can. I can. I can. Can, can I afford it with some killer wheels? Yes, can yes. I fornicate with the killer whales? Yes, you'd be able to do that. I want it inside of me. Oh, good, yes. All right, yes. You're asking if there's Let's a special going on on, on those killer whales uh, tour? No, no, no. I'll pay the full price. For get a get a fornicate with the killer whale. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes. All right, so with this killer wheel oh, uh, yes. closed door, would you like me to book this one for you? Yes, yes, right, you said yes, yes. correct? Yes. All right. All right, so with your email, yes. just because we would be sending that animal interaction to your email, could you provide me with your email address, please? Okay. Oh. I don't have the internet. All right. Uh, would there be anyone around you who would have yes. like a email address and the internet? So when you're ready to go to the party, they would be able to provide you with that email, and so you would be able to do that interaction. No, I don't. No, I'm 84 years old. I'd, I don't know oh, anyone with All right. All right, internet. so just give me a second. I'm going to see if there is a way for you to book it down at the park, all right? All right. All right. All right let me see. Hmm? Where are you located, dear? Me? All right, I'm actually located yes, at the you? Orlando Contact Center. Oh, yes. Yes, that's correct. You have a hurricane correct. coming on, don't you? Yes, be safe, dear. Oh, don't get swept up by the waters. I was swept up once by the waters. I wound up 30 miles south of my home. It's... I was very scared. I thought I was gonna. I thought I was gonna die. It was terrible. Yes. 
All right. So with the uh, with the dolphin inter uh, with that killer whale tour, you would be able to look it down at the park uh, the day that you're going to the park. So it would be much easier for you. All right. All right. That sounds good. All right. And uh, would there be anything else I'm able to assist you with for today? Mm-hmm. Yes, one last question. When I do the interaction, can, can I smoke my water? Actually, no, with they the do not let you whale? go into the water with the killer whales. And they uh, actually have absolutely no touching, also. So uh, you actually would be able to learn like hand signals and uh, things like those. But we actually do not allow you guys to touch them or get in the water with them. Yes, I want to smoke out with the killer whales. Well, can I, uh, can I smoke and uh, let the smoke out over the water? So when they come up, uh, they get a nice little buzz. All right. Uh, mm. All right. So with the killer whales, you're asking if they would actually come out, uh, like out of the water, do like tricks and things like those. That's what you're asking. All right, so yes, they yes, will yes. actually do tricks and things like those also because the trainers will also be teaching you guys hand signals on certain tricks and things like those. So they will be doing tricks also, yes. All right, yes, good. Yes, that I want is to correct. get the killer whales high and maybe the trainers will yes, hit yours as well, yes. Yes. Oh, good, yes. This sounds excellent, dear. All right. Well, thank you very much. Have a pleasant day and don't get swept up to the hurricane. Be very, very right. careful about that All hurricane. Right, so it was my pleasure yes. assisting you for today. Yes. Thank you for calling the Seaward Orlando and do have a wonderful, blessed day, all right? Uh huh. Would you like to see me, Fanny? All right. Bye. Yes. All right. What's your email address? Right, I'll send you a please? picture of me, Fanny. Yes. What's your email address? I'd like to send you a picture of me, yes, Fanny. Yes, that is correct. Yes. Yes. What's your email that address, dear? I'm actually not hearing you quite clear. Email address, yours. Oh, the email address. Do you have an oh, email right. address? Well, actually, with the, because the tour can be booked down at the park, you would be able to book it down at the park when you go down there, all right? Yes, what's your email address? Not mine, I don't have one. But if I find someone, I'd like to send you a photo of my family. So, what, yes. what's your email so address, dear? So, if you do have someone who would be able to provide an email address, they would uh, collect that, pick it for you, and when you're ready to go down to the park, they would actually just provide you with that ticket so you could be able to go down to the park, all right? Oh, our yes, email but what address? is your email address, dear? Oh, uh, well, actually, we have no yes. email address uh, like that for you to contact us. I'm sorry about that. We actually have no email address for you to contact us. Yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, dear. Oh, what's Can I you a picture of a fanny? Oh, fax number? Do you have a fax number? Oh, uh, a fax number. Do actually, you have a fax uh, number? Let me just yes. do some checks here and see. Uh, give me a second. Hmm. And what's your name again, right, dear? Give me a second. All right, no, well, we actually do have a human resource. Oh, this is a human resource job line number. Uh, give me a second. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm actually not seeing any fax number here either. I'm sorry. Because this is actually just the Orlando Contact Center. We only have information about the parks. We actually have no straightforward number for any of the parks. 
All right. Is there a number no, I can call I said the park before, directly? We actually have no straightforward number to provide to you for the parks. So you, uh, we actually have no number for you guys to get to the parks. I'm sorry about that. Oh. All right. And what was your name again, dear? Hello? Yeah, oh, uh, my name, my name is Kyle. Hello. K-Y-L-E. You hear me? Huh. Oh, right. Yes, yes, I hear you. No problem. All right, thank you, Kyle. <laughs> thank you very much for all the hard work. <laughs> You're welcome. And I answer You're the welcome. questions, yes. And would there all be right, anything else you, I'm able to assist you with for today? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'd like to order one killer well oh, cooked right. with heat. All right, so it was a pleasure assisting you for today. And uh, thank you for calling and do have a wonderful, blessed day, all right? Bye-bye. Yes, you as well, dear. Thank you. Goodbye. Miriam, you really need to get the internets. I don't want the internets. So much of weird sick previous on me. And they'll get, they'll get access to my, my family pics. They, they want to see it. After they hear about our story, they want to see everything. Thank you for calling guest services at Universal Orlando Resort. Hello, thank you for calling Universal Orlando Guest Services. This is Natalie speaking. What are the pleasure of assisting today? This is Miriam. Hi, Miriam. How are you today? Well, I'm quite a bit lost here. I I seem to have found myself in a dark storage room of some sort. I I was looking looking for E.T. what, so you're in the Universal uh, Studios, Florida? Yes, yes. Do you do you know where you are right now? Like where exactly you stumbled upon? I, I was in the E.T. building, but I, I was looking for a toilet, and I, I had slipped through some sort of door, and now I can't find my way out. Okay. Um. Give me just one moment so I can get security to go um, for a search for you so that they can locate you, okay? Are you visiting with any family? No. No? Okay. I thought I could could do this on my own, but I've gotten lost. Okay. Okay. Give me just one moment then so I can get security on the other line so that they can assist you, okay? All right. Do you... So you said that you um, were entering the ET ride? Yes, yes. And I turned back thinking I, I could, I could just find the toilets, but I don't know where I am. I just don't last on. Okay, um, just breathe, okay, and um, I'm gonna yes. get help, okay. All right, yes. Is it okay if I can place you on a brief hold so I can get security on the other line? Yes, that's fine, dear. Okay, okay. Give me just one moment. Hello. Hello. What 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 are you wearing today? Oh, I wear trousers, jeans, and a pink top. Pink top. Uh, and yes. you said jeans. Yes. And then, um, what kind of hairstyle do you have? It's 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 I don't know how to describe it to you. It's just my straight hair. And curls. I put curls in my hair every Sunday. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Give me just one more moment, okay? All right. Okay. In TV shows. Hello? Yes, hello. Okay, hi. So I have Lou on the other line from the security department. They said that they would be able to take over the call and assist you, okay? All right. Okay, okay. Have a great day. I'm sorry about this. Yes, it's all right. Okay. I'm always getting lost. Okay. Hello? Hello? Can I help you? Yes, yes. I, I was in the ET ride. This is Park I was looking Security. for a toilet. This is Park Security. How can I help you? Yes, I was in, I was in the ET ride. I was looking for a toilet. But I, I seem to have gotten behind some sort of <laughs> door on. Now I'm in a room with no lights, so I can't find my way out. Yes. Okay. Um, 
I'm going to send a security officer over to try and find you, okay? All right, yes. Okay, just stay where you're at. I'll stay on the phone with you. All right. I, I couldn't find a toilet, so I just made it here. I'm sorry. No, that's fine, ma'am. We'll get you out of here. Alpha Control. Bravo Control. Bravo Control. India Control. And for Bravo Control, is you to be 51 over to ET. Make that 1018. I've got a guest on the phone who went, I guess, right instead of left, and she's in a dark room without any lights. Doesn't know where she's at, and we need to find her. One well, night, you copy that. Thanks. Yes, sir. Over at ET, I have a guest. Uh, sounds like she's from the United Kingdom. Um, apparently, she was looking for a restroom yes. and went into a uh, a room that uh, the door was open, and she's now in a dark room and doesn't know how to get out. I have no idea where she might be, except it's in the ET somewhere. Okay. Yeah, for. No, I got one control. 10 4, you're 51 to ET. 10 4, thank you. Hey, can you uh, call the ET attraction and and get them to uh, start looking? Well, I'm going to keep this lady on the phone. Yes. She has no idea. She's not in an elevator. She's in a dark room. She was looking for the uh, the restroom. Go ahead, Bravo. Uh, 10 4. Uh, ma'am, when you went, did you already go on the ride? No, no, I hadn't gotten on the ride. Did, okay, you went on the ride already. Yes, yes. And when you came out, you went. And when you came out of the ride, which way did you go? Yes, you went on the I, I don't recall. I just, I was in need of a toilet, and I just. Okay, no problem. I don't really we'll thought there might be one, and there isn't a toilet in here. Oh no. It sticks of oil in here. Dark, huh? It smells like oil and feces. Yes, ma'am. Just stay That's put. That's my fault. Just stay put. We're gonna yes. we're gonna find you. Yes. I tried to lock it, walking around to Just find there. a door. We're looking for you. I we're, couldn't we're find it. That's all right. We're looking for you. Yeah. Calling Jordan too. Is she what? She what? Or she just kept walking this I'm just going to go over here. Maybe I could find a way out Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus! Oh, ma'am, ma'am, don't try it. Don't move around in there. You're going to trip and hurt yourself. I'm all right. You're okay? It's fine. Yes, okay. yes. Just be careful. Don't, don't move around. I knocked something over. Go ahead, Bravo. Yeah. Mom, are you in the closet again? What? What? I'll see you. Am I in the closet again? Yeah, ET. Got full of ET. I got units on the wall. I got units there already. Oh, what's going on? Yeah, I didn't want to put her on. Okay. Uh, Three nine nine? No, I have not had a chance to call three nine nine. Oh, yeah. I said I, I don't want to put her on hold. Are you in the closet? Ma'am, you still there? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, we're we're looking for you. Okay. All right. Have you called ET yet? Okay, we need to get uh, ET. Um, ET needs to shut that ride down, right? Yes, they need to shut the ride down immediately. Okay. Hey, take phone home. Okay, we're, we're, we're looking for you, ma'am. We're looking for you. Hey, take phone home. Okay. Miriam, get out of the closet. Hello? Miriam, where are you? In the closet again, dear. Your husband. Yes, I'm in the closet. He's in a He's saying, get out of the closet. Bertrand, can you open this door? I, it might be I'm trying, a, but he locked it again from the inside. It might be a broom closet. We don't lock the door, dear. Oh, yes. I found a door locker. 
Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, no. uh, ma'am. Ma'am. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm in my house. I was stuck in the closet. Oh, Lord. Okay, are you out now? Yes, yes. Okay, can you see where you're going now? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm going upstairs. Describe, describe where you're at. I'm in my home. I can't have... You're in a hallway? I can't have a celebration. I can't have fornicate for the first time in 30 years. Yes. Mary, I'm just get upstairs so I can plow you like the old days. Yes. Oh, my. This is, this is glorious. Ma'am, you still there? Yes, yes. Hello? Yes, ma'am. Are you yes, still there? I'm still here. Yes. Are you okay now? Yes, I'm quite all right. Is your husband there? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, can you tell me exactly where you're at? Yes, I'm in my house. I, I, I must have gone locked in the closet again. Are you back in the dark again? No, no, I'm in the light. You're in, in the, the light. light of Jesus. Yes. Oh, Lord. Ma'am, are you still in E.T.? Uh, no, it is gone back to his home planet. Yes. Back to the home planet? Yes. Yes. Oh, Lord. Okay, uh, ma'am, are you inside the ride? Are you where E.T. goes to the home planet? You got it, ma'am. I thought I was. But cool. I thought I was having a bad nightmare. I, I remember going there quite a few years ago. But I thought, well, if they know anything about E.T., they'll know how to get me out. But... I was in the closet all along. Yes. Ma'am, is your husband there? Can I speak with him? He, he's in the loo, undressing. Ma'am, is anyone there with you? At the moment, he, he's in the loo. Oh, I, I guess the loo. Not him. Well, when he comes out, I want to speak with him just to make sure you're all right, okay? Oh, I'm, I'm quite all right, dear. I, well, I just want to I make sure, okay? I'm in the closet every now and then. Yes. I also need... He put a lock on the inside of the closet for whatever reason. Sometimes I accidentally lock myself in. It, it happens. It's, it's all right. It's quite all right. Yes. Okay, I'd still like to speak with someone to make sure you're okay. Can you make contact with any yes. team members in the area? I'm not in your park, dear. I'm at home. I was lost in the closet. So you're not in the park. You're at home now. Yes, yes. Okay, and you were lost in the closet. Can I ask, how did you get this yes. phone number? I was in my phone. I, I was there quite a few years ago. And my grandson put numbers in my phone. Oh, this one was marked ET. What? So, oh, that's not curious. Anybody no. Okay. You let me know when your husband comes out of the out of the restroom, okay? Oh, he's got to be a while. He has to take the Viagra first. Miriam, are you still on the phone? Here he is. Here's the phone, dear. Yes, can, can I speak with him, please? Yes, here, here, here. I'm, I'm going to push, put the phone through the door, here. Yeah? Hello? Hello, sir, are you there? Yes, yes. Hi, yes, can I ask your name? Bertrand. Okay. And uh, I just want to make sure everything's okay with your wife and yourself. And just to be clear, you yes, guys are yes. not here at the park, correct? Oh, what park? Uh, here at Universal Studios Orlando, because that's where you've called, or that's where your wife has called. No, no, we're not home. She gets lost in the closet every once in a while and locks herself in. It's, it's very, very tiring for me, but she's quite all right. Okay. Well, if everything's all right and I have that confirmed, I just want to let you know that I have that confirmed that everything is all right with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the call. Is that okay with you? Yes, yes. That's fine, yes. All right. You have a wonderful day, okay, sir? Yes, you as well, sir, sir. Miriam, you have to stop going into the closet. I don't know what to. It's nice and warm in there. But I did knock something over. You knocked over all my cans? 
God damn it, woman! It was an accident, Bertrand. I thought it was lost. I had to walk around a bit. I'd... It's all right. Everything will be fine. Get in the bathroom and undress, dear. I'll make sure you learn your lesson. Oh, yes. Oh, my. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay, Miriam, sounds like you had a, uh, a wonderful uh, adventure while traveling to uh, Orlando this week. You got tipsy on some rum in your coffee. Yes. That's why they put rum in coffee. The worst Starbucks on, on planet Earth exists in Disney World. They don't hear your name right, and they, they, they put rum in your drinks. You got lost in uh, the E.T. adventure? Oh, yes. E.T. found home. And uh, Bertrand made an appearance, too. Yes. He's busy making his road hold. And um, I think I heard your son in there, too, Jeremy. Oh, hey, a little bastard. Oh, yes, he's over here today. I don't know why. He, he hasn't caught the job. No one's supposed to know, but he's been unemployed for over a year. He can't support his family. You know what he does with birds? He fought against with the birds. Can't handle this shit. Fucking weirdo family. What? I heard that. We're not weird. We're just like anyone else. Just old. You know, you'll be the same way when you get my age. Yes. You end up in your closet and get locked up and not want to know where you are. You call everywhere around the world thinking you're somewhere else. It's how the imagination works when you get old. This show was brought to you by Crispy 808, Gordo, Joe, Louise, Robert Dubois, and Tiger Eye 4C. Thank you everyone for, for permitting me to, to have this show.